Okay, today's uh, screencast will be about multiplying and dividing integers or decimals. The same rules apply for both. Um, and this seems pretty trivial, uh, but what we're going to be doing is is making throwing in some negative signs. When we start putting in a negative and positive in here, it can get a bit tricky. And as for most people, whether it's adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, if they make mistakes, it's usually when it comes to uh, negatives, when negatives get thrown in. Let's start right away here then. and. Uh, is fun to talk about multiplying. The first number tells how many jumps or rows. The second number tells how big the group is. So three groups of four totals four, or totals twelve, excuse me. Or in other words, three times four is twelve. So it's just a multiplication is the quick way of, of adding groups. And uh, here's some rules. Multiplication rules multiply by zero. Do that, multiply by zero. The answer is always. zero. Okay, the answer is always zero. And that's pretty straightforward. Multiplying by one, when multiplying by one, the answer is always the number. It is multiplying. So there's a couple examples. One times eight is eight, or eight times one is eight. One times anything equals the thing it's uh, multiplying. And uh, those two rules are very straightforward. Now, multiplying negative and positive numbers. There's two facts to remember. A, numbers with the same signs, let's just put the word same in here, the same sign give a positive answer and multiply it. Numbers with the opposite signs give a negative, put the word negative in here, negative answer when multiplied. So when multiplying, what we do is we go ahead and multiply the numbers as if they were both positive. Take the two numbers, multiply them as if they're both positive. You have two numbers multiplied together. And then you decide on the sign you need to add later. And it depends on whether the signs were the same or whether the signs were opposite, whether they're different. So we'll talk about some examples in a minute here. But first, let's just briefly review dividing and dividing, taking out groups of a specific amount. And so uh, how many groups of 3 can we take out of 12? We can write this expression in one of three ways. I can say to myself, how many groups of 3 can I take out of 12? I just divide like that. That's the way to write it and do a long division. Another way to write it is to write it like this. 12 divided by 3 equals, okay, well, of course the answer is 4 for each of these situations, but uh, Another way, another way of writing this division. The last way, and the way we'll, the method we'll use primarily in, in this, in many times in math, in high school math, is we'll uh, write it like this. We write it as a fraction, and that's basically 12 divided by 3. It's the same thing, and again, the answer is also 4 for that as well. 12 divided by 3 is, is 4. Okay, so let's move on here. Dividing rules, dividing by zero. This is different than multiplying by zero. If you divide by zero, uh, we say this is undefined. In other words, uh, we can't do this kind of question. It's undefined. Um, so uh, we can also say it's, we call you this symbol here for undefined. That's another way of writing undefined. And uh, 4 divided by 0, if I have that question, is quickly 4 divided by 0 equals what? Well, to check the answer, we just, all we do is take and multiply the answer times 0 to get 4. So the, the answer times 0 is us, and nothing multiplies by 0 to give us 4, because anything times 0 is 0. We know that from the uh, multiplication rules. So that question cannot be done. So when the uh, denominator is 0, that's impossible to do that question. Now, divided by 1, the answer is always the same as the number you're dividing. So 6 divided by 1 is 6. Negative 5 divided by 1 is negative 5. The sign doesn't change. It all stays the same like that. Now, let's go to the dividing negative and positive numbers. 
the rules of division are exactly the same as that is multiplication which is very convenient numbers with the same sign give a positive answer positive answer when multiplied numbers with different or opposite signs okay so we just say opposite or different signs give a negative answer when multiplied so when dividing, just like in multiplying, we go ahead and we divide the two numbers as if they're both positive. Okay, both positive. In order to find the answer, then we decide on the sign we need to add later. Depending on whether the signs on the two numbers you divided were the same, okay, same sign or different signs. Different. Okay, let's do some quick examples to finish this off now. And here we go, uh, multiplying. We multiply, one's negative, one's positive. We don't worry about that. We just multiply three times 11, we get 33. And we look at them, are those signs the same or different? Well, those are different signs. One's a negative number, one's a positive number. So we put a negative. Negative, is a, if they're different signs, the answer becomes negative. Same with the next, we have a positive and a negative. So we multiply those two together, we end up getting uh, an, a negative answer. So we end up getting 1.5 times 4.2, I believe is 6.3, and uh, it's going to be negative. Because the positive times a negative is a negative. Different signs. Let's look at the next one. Well, this is the first, we'll do the parts. We got three numbers, so do the first part. Two, negative 2 is 5 is going to be negative 10. Then I'm going to multiply this answer here by the next one, by negative 6. Negative times a negative here is going to be positive. So 6 times 10 is 60, and it's positive 60. We just leave it like that. No point in putting a positive sign there. We already know that a 60 by itself means positive 60. Okay, going down to the dividing here, same rules as multiplying. Uh, negative 42 divided by 6, okay, 7. 6 times 7 is 42. Oh, just a second here. But the answer is going to be it's different signs. So it's going to be a negative answer, which gives us negative 42. Sure enough, gives us 0. Subtract those two. Okay. 0.6 divided by, sorry, 6.0 divided by negative 1.2. Those signs are the same sign. Therefore, the answer is going to be positive, and 6 divided by 1.2 is exactly 5.0 or 5 and so and it's just positive negative divided by negative is a positive the same sign number three divide those two numbers 5.6 divided by 7 is 0 0.8 and uh, the sign is going to be what well they're different signs so the sign is going to be a negative different signs which brings us to the last two questions multiple signs here let's just multiply those together we got 3 times 2 is 6 6 times 2 more is going to give me 12 12 times 3 more is 36 okay so th 3 times 2 times 2 times 3 is 36 I think that's pretty straightforward what about the sign well how many signs are there well there's no positive signs but there's three negative signs or sorry four one two so it's one two three four signs four negative signs and the rule is if the negatives if there's an even number of negatives well four is an, is an even number then it's going to give us a positive answer so the answer stays just like it is positive 36. if it's an odd number of negatives then we we just make it a negative answer okay and you can test it up by multiplying negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 times negative 2 gives me negative 12 and that times negative 3 gives me positive 36 so the easy way to do is multiply the numbers together then put the sign at the end just count the number of negatives up see if it's an even number or positive number or sorry even number or, or a neg uh, odd number so the next one here last question 1 times 2 is 2 so just multiply 1 times 2 
times 3, so that's going to be 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. How many negative signs are there? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's an odd number of negative signs. Therefore, the answer is going to be negative 24. And there we go.